Welcome everyone to the second tutorial of Lost in the Sea series. This is the second part of the setup and we are going to see how to set up the camera and the compositing nodes. So create a camera with Shift A, place it somewhere nice and just a quick tip, press Ctrl Alt Zero Numpad so the camera assumes the position of your viewport. This means the camera assumes what you are seeing, it's quite useful. Play around with the focal lens to find what fits you best. Mine is around 25mm. Uh, also, don't forget to set up the hand clipping to something like a kilometer or a mile or even more, so the camera only cuts out what is beyond the distance you set. And finally, go ahead and press F12 to render. And after you render an image, our final step is to set our renders ready for compositing. So go ahead and come to the compositing nodes in this button and press use nodes and backdrop. Now press shift A to create a viewer which allows us to see the render in the background and we still can play around with the 3D viewport. Add an RGB curve node. You can simply search for RGB curve and drag it on top of this line. Again, with Shift A, now add a color balance and drag on top of this line. And last one is the glare node. And you will need to connect to the composite and the viewer node. The glare allows us to give something very similar to a glow. So this means the lower the threshold, the more glow. Fade will allow us to smooth the glow, basically to fade. The RGB curve will allow you to push the reds, greens and blues higher or lower. I am pushing a bit the red tones higher as you may see and you can also brighten your render or darken it in this, in this C button. The color balance node is basically a way to control the colors of the high tones, the mid tones and the shadows. And since I want this image to look hotter, I'm gonna push the values to a reddish orange tone. I really recommend you that you play around with these settings, it's easy to give a warm feeling or a cold feeling as you may see. And this is just a basic setup, there are a few more options to look around when you are compositing and you will find plenty of options that allow to control several settings as gamma, as contrast, as saturation and other parameters. And that's it for this tutorial guys, feel free to ask any questions. I will try to reply you as quick as possible even if it has passed a year or two. And thank you for watching and don't lose the next episodes where we're going to see two ways to create rocks, one is low poly and the other is cartoonish and smooth. And in further tutorials we are going to see how to create an octopus and a crab and give them life with animation. So stick around and subscribe to stay tuned. Once again thank you for watching.